So here are my finished paintings. Uh, the full sheet has been painted and now I'm going to remove it from the board and all I do is pull off the tape. And you want to pull just like this, pull outward so that you don't tear your paper. You can see there's a little bend in it. Um, but overall, each individual painting is going to be pretty flat. So now what I'm going to do is cut them apart and uh, let them sit overnight with a book on them because it's a little damp here today. And uh, this Bristol tends to absorb a little bit of the dampness from the air. So I don't want my little paintings to curl up any more than they are. So I'm gonna uh, weight them with a book and just let them be flat. While my paintings are sitting underneath a book overnight, I'm going to make a pattern so that I can cut them to the right size for the tins that I'm using. So I'm just gonna take this tin and I grabbed a stack of scrap paper from uh, my computer room. And I'm just gonna trace around this and then trim it and then fit it to the top of this tin. And then I'm gonna check it against the other tins that I have to make sure that one size fits all. So here's my pattern and I've trimmed it down a little bit from what I traced so that it fits on top of the tin and the image doesn't extend beyond the edge. Now, so that I make sure I orient it property, properly, I'm writing Altoids on it so that I know to lay it on there the same way the lettering on the, the tin is. Now I can check and see if I can use the same pattern. And I think I can. That looks pretty good. So now that this piece of artwork has been sitting uh, weighted overnight, it's pretty flat. And uh, I'm ready to trim it down to the size of the tin with my pattern. So I'm just going to lay this on here and I'm making sure because I want the tin to open this way that my writing is oriented the same way as the tin. And I can still sort of see the outline of the artwork even though I painted over it. And this pattern is just a tiny bit narrower than the original piece of artwork. So all I really have to do is kind of center it and then trace around it. That looks pretty good. And now I can just trim this just inside the pencil line. And I'll end up with a piece of artwork that's perfectly sized for my tin. Now my pencil line is completely gone and I'm just going to check and make sure that this is what I want. Looks like it's a little bit larger, but that's okay. I'm going to be able to trim this away after I apply it. So yes, I am in fact using a glue stick to apply this. I know that seems like an odd choice, but really the glue stick isn't going to be what ultimately holds this piece of artwork on. It's going to be layers of matte medium and probably a little diamond glaze and all the other stuff that I put on on top of this. But I am putting a significant amount of glue stick onto this. I'm 
And I'm just going to lay this on here and kind of slide it into place, trying not to get my gluey fingers all over the finished artwork. There's a lot of glue hanging over the side here that I'm just going to remove. So, once this is oriented the way I want it, I'm going to put this piece of wax paper over the top to protect my art. And brayer this. Pardon the squeaky brayer. To get a nice solid contact. And wipe away any extra glue. And then I'm going to take another section of the wax paper because you can see the glue line right around here. I don't want any more glue on this. So just use a clean section of the wax paper and brayer it in the other direction. And again, wipe away any extra glue. And now I'm going to let that sit for probably about an hour uh, to let the glue underneath this dry. So um, because it's sitting on metal, uh, it's going to take a little extra time to dry. And I want to give it plenty of time before I layer anything on top of it. This has been sitting for about an hour and the glue is completely dry. Um, and now I'm just checking around the edges to see if there's any white showing, which means that the image is too large for the tin. And I'm trimming that white away. Since I try to center the image on the tin, there's usually a little bit on each side that needs trimming. Looks pretty good. So now I have an image where it mostly matches the tin, but there's this white line right here. Now, those of you that have been following me for a while know that sometimes I use uh, chalk ink pads to deal with that. And that is one way to, to deal with it. Just take a chalk ink that's the same color as your background or the same color as the side and just uh, etch this. But what I'm going to do is do a little paint. Just a little bit. sort of edge this and blend my background color into the color that's around the edges of the tin because they're just slightly different. And since my girl is pretty much red all the way around, This isn't going to hurt anything. Well, maybe a little red will get up on her hair. That's okay. Just want everything to blend in. So now there's not that white racing stripe all the way around. Just a spot. And you can see that that really didn't take very much paint. Just a tiny little bit just enough to hit the edges. And if you want to do more, that's fine. Um, I'm going to end up sealing this with matte medium and then probably a layer of uh, diamond glaze to make it shiny. So uh, that tiny little bit of paint is going to be fine over um, the painted 
edge that hasn't been prepped for paint. Um, normally, if I painted uh, a lot on these tins, I would uh, rough them up with some sandpaper or burn the finish off of the torch. But just this little bit, not even worth worrying about. So I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and uh, then maybe think about sealing it. So now that I have let this dry, I'm going to put just a really light sealer coat on it. Um, I didn't really seal the paintings after I finished them because I knew that this was gonna happen pretty quickly after I applied the images. So this is just a tiny bit of matte medium over the whole top. And also a little bit along the sides. Since I put paint on it, I'm going to put a little matte medium on it. Just to lock it down until I get the final sealer coat on it. And I'm not moving on directly to the final coat just yet, because I want to do some decorating. 